Good morning, guys. Um, so as you can see, I'm getting in uh, a very early start to my morning today. Uh, today we have um, hospital day, so pretty much we're assigned to different services, and um, like we spend the day with a third year student and kind of observe them. And they said we may do like some physical exams and patient history taking if possible. Um, so I'm on internal medicine, I have to get there by um, 6.30 a.m. The other services were ob and surgery. Um, I'm glad I didn't get ob and they had to be there at 5.30. So yeah, today should be good. Um, just some observation in the hospital. Maybe we'll be able to get to do something. And then after I have to head to campus and do my um, clinical skills practice exam. So pretty much as part of one of our courses, we have to do like a head to toe physical examination and history taking and then we're gonna be graded on that. And that's in November for me. So um, prior to that, we have like practice sessions. So today is my um, practice session. So I'm just about to quickly eat, um, make some overnight oats, and then um, I'm gonna head to the hospital. <music> Um, so I just finished up at the hospital. It's about 12.30. It was a pretty good day. Um, we saw like three different patients. The first one was one that came into the ER and then they were being um, admitted to the hospital. So the internal medicine team had to um, you know, go down to the ER, see them and admit the patient. And then we saw um, two other patients that had been in the hospital for um, a few days. And it was like good seeing this because we're like practicing how to do like histories and full patient exams, which is what I'm about to do now. I'm about to head to campus and do my um, practical clinical skills um, exam. So yeah, just seeing like a third year student do a full history, um, you know, patient exam, what things to look for and all that. So that was pretty good. And um, I am very hungry, so I'm gonna get something to eat on campus and then I'm gonna do my um, clinical skills exam. Just finished up the um the practice clinical skill session and it went pretty good um there were a few things on the physical exam that i forgot to do um and then like okay so pretty much what we have to do is a full head to toe physical exam so we do like you do region based so you start with the head and then do like the eyes, nose, mouth, ears, and there's different things that you need to test for or look for. And then um, you move to, after that you move to the neck. And then you move to the back, listen to the lungs, also take, um, do percussion, palpate. Then you move to the front, listen to the heart, the abdomen. And then you do like musculoskeletal, um, peripheral, so um have them like move legs and test different um muscular functions and things of that nature so we're being graded by it's going to be like one physician in the room and we're being graded and we have to make sure we're hitting every single thing on that checklist so after we're done with the um after we're done with the physical exam then we move into taking the patient history so we have to do review of systems so pretty much you ask questions based off system so um you can start with like the head and neck. So ask them questions about their vision, about their nose, like are you having a runny nose, any discharge? 
um, ask them things about the ear, you know, any change in hearing, and then move to the neck, any swelling, things like that. So it's system based, and then move to like the lungs, like any cough, any difficulty breathing, and then move to the heart area. And then I think the last set of questions for view system is um, musculoskeletal. Oh, and then also you need to ask some neuro questions. So that's like headache. I don't know what else is on neuro. But I think that part, you have to memorize the whole list. We don't have to, during the um, actual exam, we're not going to have to recite every single different system. They're going to access one system. So they might say, okay, do the review system of GI. So some things would be like, are you having like diarrhea, constipation, um, any difficulty in eating or anything like that. So you don't know which one they're going to pick. So you have to have the whole list memorized. And I don't have that memorized yet, but my exam is not until November. So we had until like now until I think December 5th to sign up and do your exam. Um, I feel like, you know, some people feel like the better, the earlier you get it out of the way. But I want to make sure I'm absolutely um, prepared. So mine, I think, is November the 10th. And if you don't pass, um, of course, you have to retake it and you have until that date, December 5th, to take it. But um, yeah, it's really just about you know continuously practicing getting comfortable doing patient exams making sure you know all the review systems from the top of your head um without looking at um the paper at the checklist so i'm gonna go in a few more times um and practice with my partner and that's why i was saying earlier i'm glad i was on um internal medicine today because we really saw them do like you know the patient um the physical exam the taking a history review of systems and all that and like the more times you do it it just becomes natural it's not going to be like oh i'm memorizing a list so yeah it's about four o'clock um right now the weather is so nice outside it's like 80 degrees i'm gonna head to the gym um if you saw my vlog from last week you saw that i started working out again and i just want to go ahead and um keep that going so I made myself a schedule, workout schedule. I'm going to do Monday, Wednesdays, Thursdays, uh, Saturdays. So on Mondays and Wednesdays, I'm going to use the um, Nike training app. And then on Thursdays and Saturdays, my apartment uh, has these different classes. So Thursdays is yoga and Saturday is um, the workout classes, like the one I went to um, in my last vlog. So yeah, I'm going to see how those four days go. I think the easiest is going to be going to the classes, the, thurs the Thursday and Saturday one. But then it's just like finding the motivation to go on those other two days, which is Monday and Wednesday. But I'm going to go now before I start studying and it gets later into the evening because then late when it gets later in the day, I'm just going to get tired and I'm not going to get up and go. So I'm just going to go now. <laughs> These last few days, um, my main focus as far as my studying has been on farm. Um, we started the anti-infective, so like antibiotics and things like that. And it's a very thorough list, um, a lot of different drugs. So what I'm using is Sketchy Farm. And then one of the third years sent us like um, this chart. So it has like the mechanism of act action for the drug, um, the resistance for it, clinical uses, adverse effects. And making this chart, these charts, it's pretty much how our professor like recommended how we study um, these drugs. So this is the chart right here. So these are um, antibiotics. They act by inhibiting protein synthesis. So that's good to just have everything in one place. So I'm studying from this and for uh, from Sketchy Farm for this block. I actually thought I would like feel way more tired by this um, time of the day since I woke up like at 5 a.m. But I actually feel all right. I'm just going to be studying for the rest of the day. So I'll end the vlog here. Thank you guys for um, watching again this week. If you enjoyed the vlog, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you the next one. Bye.